What you're looking at behind me is what we call the all-terrain electric mission module, the ATOM. It is a multi-tool for a multi-dimension environment that we find ourselves in modern tactical ground forces. It is a skateboard chassis of an EV. There is a massive battery. There are electric motors. There's a battery management system. There's steering components. There are differentials. Everything you have would have in an EV is behind me. This all-terrain electric mission module performs exactly like an electric vehicle does. From the deck up, this is payload. 5,000 pounds of user-defined payload goes from the deck up. Well, that payload can be a remote weapon system. That payload can be a tethered drone. That payload can be ammunition. That payload can be in a casualty evacuation. The biggest limitation is the imagination. It's an autonomous ready car, drive by wire. From the ground up, it was conceived that way. But when you look throughout Euro Satori and you look at so many of the other robots that you see in there, how do those robots get to the point of need. It's an innovative things that our company has done is as you can see a rather unique hitching. This can be hitched to a leading vehicle. It's not a trailer, it is a trailing vehicle because this becomes a high speed, highly mobile way of getting a 10,000 pound RC remote controlled vehicle to the point of need. Typically, when this is connected to a leading vehicle, this transforms that leading 4x4 vehicle into an 8x8 vehicle with torque being put to the ground with a 200 horsepower electric motor generating 3,800 foot pounds of torque to each axle on the ground. That is a heck of a lot of additional power and torque on the ground, making that leading vehicle perform even better than it would by itself. We don't have a great logistics concept of support for circulating electricity on the battlefield. The Atom, the all-terrain electric mission module, can fulfill that gap of how to get electricity from the brigade area out to the tactical edge where the soldiers are because the Atom can be a massive battery recharging station for all of that gear that the soldiers have on their body. While there is a unique new platform, if I can summarize it in one sentence, it's the first time that we introduce armored buggy. Usually you need to choose between maneuverability and survivability. And with this platform, we've been managed to merge two worlds together. It's a central engine platform designed for four occupants, got a flatbed on the back so you can load your gear. It's air transportable, so it suits for long missions, low signature in terms of vehicle, so you can maneuver and keep yourself avoid from the enemy. On a standard a fuel tank, it's designed to meet seven to 800 kilometers on uh, the conventional fuel, but we can enlarge the fuel tank. We have the 2.8 Cummins diesel engine, very reliable, got high torque, but what makes it interesting is that it's matched to a ZF transmission, and transfer case of Toyota is the internal design of the occupants. The driver sit on the center line, what make him very exposed to the surrounding. Three more occupants on the back. Each one of them has its own volume. The platform was designed to integrate to systems. As you can see here on the top, it's a weapon system, 0.5 millimeter, can integrate different ones. And on the back, a drone that is connected to the weapon system. So we consider this platform as interception vehicle. Something very fast, very agile, very aggressive, optionally unmanned capabilities. You drive the platform as conventional vehicle and in any given time in your mission, you can disembark, switch a button and transform it into a remote control platform. In the wilder, we develop a unique suspension system that basically cross link the differential. The bottom line, the wheel does twice the traveling, 400 millimeter of wheel travel, the outcome, fast maneuvering in extreme off-roads. This is the wilder.